Latest album Propulsion is a product of nearly three to four years of composing and production and comes at a time when, after various releases made on international labels, we decided to sum up our electronic influences and write an album which gave us the opportunity to work with vocals and lyrics and this after a time when we used to produce mainly tracks of an instrumental nature. day one, we decided to choose a theme for this album, that of space travel. On choosing the theme, we also teamed up with Screwdops.com so as to come up with the visual element of the album, the graphics and the design, and this in itself inspired us in the actual composing of the album. When we set to join up all the tracks together, we didn't look for a particular style or mood, we just wanted the album to be a journey from beginning to end. This album was a journey because when we set off producing it, I can compare ourselves even with the space team, as if you have space travelers that start off at a specific time with specific technology, then return back to Earth after years, and in a certain extent they would be trapped in time. In our case, we consider ourselves trapped back in time because we are still very much influenced and inspired by using old technology to produce our electronic music. Without revealing too much of our age, we lived the 80s and uh, that was the time of the synth-pop music. Obviously, we are still inspired from this kind of music and we still do play this kind of stuff. So, why not produce something which directly relates to it? The message of us bringing back our 80s influences and style in the music of this album has been portrayed excellently in the video of our album's first single, Stars on Mars, which was produced by two diffuse pics. The video depicts the arrival of a space traveler from Mars who is faced with the race against time to complete its mission, with the danger of being kidnapped and with help from concluding it. The 
timing of the video's release is excellent as humans are now probing Mars for life forms. Prior to us starting a techno project, we also used to produce vocal tracks. But at the time it was really hard to produce these tracks. You had to spend money in studio time. Way back in the 90s, we still used very basic laptops. But at the time we used to connect our laptops with various pieces of rig. With today's technology, most of the samples can be located more simpler in the laptop. Although we may be known for our techno productions, this live PA concept now is something in which we journeyed into new and interesting visual material rather than just the musical. For us, a challenge in a live set it's not just using pre-programmed music or sounds and samples from a laptop, but also the challenge of having hardware synchronized with computerized music. And the hardware could also be digital and analog synths, synchronized lighting and videos, all triggered from analog gear. We can say that we have used various types of lives and configurations. With today's technology, we decided to go back to our roots and produce a more interesting and easy listening album.